gonna take a long time, which means you have to speed up the recordings and whatnot. So I just added in ground cinnamon and this one and paprika and this onions. I also use canola oil for the chicken since I'm planning to make two kinds of soup which is relatively revolving around the cream of mushroom that we just got. And then this one is butter and onions. I haven't added like the other seasonings and stuff, but I've grouped it up accordingly already. What I'm trying to do is slow cook the onions, if it's possible to slow cook onions. And then just trying to make sure to draw up like the caramelized state of it, slowly as possible bring out the onion flavor as they say. Just adding some garlic powder in it. Take note that I'm not like putting as much because I haven't put in the chicken yet. Which is already chopped over there along with the potatoes. And for the beef I'm gonna use some cooked meat already. That's why I only use butter in general. This one. I don't know, nobody knows the recipe for it and probably no one's gonna write a recipe about it. Just basically call it chicken soup manok di masrumi. Although it's not a formal name or whatnot. The ground cinnamon also brings out some of the stuff, but that is powerful. The onions cook naturally. That's all settled in. I'm gonna add in. Look what you done. I don't know which one goes which. Actually, that's a lie. I don't know which goes which. Perfect. This one. I'm gonna add the salad surprise. Okay. It's salad surprise. I can't see. See, it's salad surprise. It's not Italian seasoning. Also, that thing's expensive. But it's already pre-mixed, so you better read what's in the things before before you like cook it. Because sometimes some people are allergic to some ingredients or some spices, so keep an eye out. This can be a slow enduring cooking, so it's gonna be like an hour or two before the food is done. Just in time when mom comes home and whatnot, so yeah. I'm a genius. Oregano. I don't Can know what it? oregano Can does. You it? Can you show it? There's yeah. an oregano. Okay. You can't recreate this thing. I just basically made it up. Thinking of how I can make two dishes at once. Also, when you're cooking onions, just make sure they're like soft enough. That's when you know like they're a bit cooked. Or should I say, safe to eat, not relatively hard. Because if you finish the onions too early, thinking like they're cooked and they're actually not, it's it will result in some of the taste being very spicy because of the raw onions. Everybody knows the Mor Morton girl walking in the rain, carrying salt. I don't know why, but it works. And some black pepper. Oh yeah, funny thing about this thing, it took a while to work on this thing. Oh. She doesn't use this too. You don't use this, don't you? It's basically black peppercorns, raw black peppercorns, and then you manually crush it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you 
They know what I'm using. It's a paprika. I'm gonna add more ground cinnamon because it'll taste cinnamony. Stop. Stop. Halic powder. Yeah, I have to cook the chicken slow too. Pretty sure the other one's like steaming. It's probably done. I just had it. I should add in some water on it too. I'm not planning to do that yet because I'm an experimentalist. I dabble with stuff, even in cooking. Hopefully, it's not a bust like this one. She dabbles with cooking too. And she can make some really good or really good. Set in the potatoes as early as possible. If you want your potatoes to be soft. Because if you don't, you'll end up eating something very weird. Gamey, chewy, and hard. And a great combo for your test. a slow cooker than a fast cooker so all right a little bit of something guess what I'm adding in see it. No, in that block one. Mm. Yeah, we use Campbell. See mm. what? It's basically improvised cooking. Use what we can use. We take what we can take. And we make what we can make. And cross our fingers, it doesn't end up being just a pile of slime. Doesn't look appetizing right now. It looks amazing. I'm gonna just pour the whole thing. I'm not pouring the whole thing because I'm gonna put it on the other one too. What? You didn't hear me, right? Of course you did. You don't listen to me. It's two different dishes. 
But no, no. Water. In this type of like meals, water is like essential. You can't just go on without water, bro. And you know the body will die without water first. No food. We could survive two weeks without food. But three days without water would be. Okay, I admit, it doesn't look good, but it takes time, and effort, yeah look at that, looks nasty. This stuff is unsalted. Not sure with the cream of mushroom though. So more of that. More of these. Basically what's next is add a bit of this. Who says you can't part? See who said you can't add parsley flakes or anything? Not quite. Mostly. But this one already has like cooked meat. This one's gonna be prepared shortly. And then what we do is we just wait. 